an investigation is underway after the death of Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins. The rising NFL star died Saturday while crossing I-95. It's been over a year since the tragic death of Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins, who was killed in Florida during a traffic accident. Yet somehow this apparently slipped through the cracks of FS1 and Colin Coward during a segment a week ago when discussing about the current QB market. During the show, Colin made a list of 20 quarterbacks drafted since 2013 who could not win a Super Bowl, which included the likes of Haskins himself. And then the third category is 20 guys who are not getting to a Super Bowl and certainly not winning it. And that's everybody else. From Baker Mayfield, uh, Teddy Bridgewater, uh, Dwayne Haskins, guys, guys that are just not... To make matters worse, at no point did Coward attempt to correct himself and it's crazy that for a production as big as The Herd, something like this would pass through the many different eyes in the production process. Anyways, that said, Dwayne Haskins played for the Steelers in 2021 and was set to replace Ben Roethlisberger in 2022 before his untimely death. The former Buckeye was drafted by the then Washington Redskins with the 15th overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft but struggled there for two seasons and was eventually released by Ron Rivera. So recently, it was announced that the estate of Dwayne Haskins reached a settlement with a truck driver who was reported to have been speeding, driving carelessly, and carrying a cargo load exceeding the legal weight limit. Also included in the lawsuit was alleged negligence by the Florida Department of Transportation and the rental car company, as well as a contract that provides the signage along the Interstate 595. Dwayne was on his way back to Pittsburgh after working out with several teammates prior to the tragic accident. He was hit by a truck while he was walking on the South Florida Highway near Fort Lauderdale Airport. At the time, according to toxicology reports, Haskins was legally drunk with a blood alcohol level of 0.24 when he was struck by the dump truck. It was also determined by the reports he had tested positive for ketamine. And this is where things kind of take a twist because also in the lawsuit, it alleges that Dwayne Haskins was the target of blackmail and robbery conspiracy prior to his death. The suit also includes four individuals, two restaurants, a golf driving range, and a hotel as defendants associated to the alleged conspiracy. Honestly, this is a bizarre turn of events to this story. Not much information was provided to this new story alleging Haskins was drugged and a target of blackmail. In my opinion, for this many different parties to be involved, it appears that this may have been set up by a group of individuals who likely knew the QB. It's kind of still too early to speculate, but I'll make a new video once more information about this aspect of the story gets revealed. That said, I do feel for the truck driver in a way. Dude was probably just driving on the interstate at night just like any other evening and then someone who's under the influence tries to cross the interstate. It's most likely his insurance didn't want to fight this battle and found it was cheaper just to make the case go away and settle. Anyways, even still, a lot of this case is just not adding up. It took this long to even get this part of the story out. I feel like there is a lot more to this story and it'll probably come out later in time but for now this is just a weird tragic event that cost the life of a young man.